Now you may have seen from my channel that I've been selected by KAIS. Uh, KAIS do uh, heated clothing. They run a program called the Inspiring Riders program uh, and it's a, a six month program that they run through the winter period. Uh, they essentially share some of their heated clothing with these riders, so me and a number of others, and we get to wear their clothing through the winter period and uh, post some feedback uh, about it during the winter months. Now, you may very well be forgiven for not yet having even put your inner thermals into your motorcycle jackets. This very humid uh, autumnal, non-autumnal weather that we're having at the moment means that um, wearing heated clothing just isn't practical at the moment. Uh, so what I wanted to do at this time is just to show you some of the stuff that I've got and how it all kind of interlinks with each other. So the great thing about the Kais uh, heated clothing is that it all interlinks in terms of the power supply, unless of course you're using batteries. So let's start with the jacket. Um, I'm not gonna do an in-depth review of the jacket. If you wanna see that, um, check out my channel on YouTube. I've got a, um, a review of the, of the heated jacket, but I'm just gonna show you some basic functions and how uh, the Kais heated winter gloves actually interlink with the jacket. So let's get that done. So this is the Kais heated sleeve jacket. They do vests, so sleeveless jackets as well. But this is the Kais sleeve jacket. I'm not gonna do an in-depth review about this jacket. Look at my channel, you'll find an in-depth review about this jacket. Couple of things to highlight though, just very quickly. You would not wear this under your uh, motorcycle jacket with your inner thermal in. You'll need to take that out. Uh, you'll simply be too bulky in it otherwise. So make sure you take your inner thermal out of your winter jacket and this will then sit underneath your winter jacket plugged into the battery power supply. So, for the jacket, very quickly, you get a cable with it, and the, um, obviously this is the, the battery end to your bike, the positive and negative that connects to your battery on your bike, and this end then connects to a cable that comes out of a zipper underneath here, plugs in there, and that is then power going to your uh, your jacket. Now you need to remember that when you are doing this, when you've connected this to your battery, if you leave it switched on, if you leave the jacket switched on, it will drain your battery, okay? So it is, it has a permanent power supply when you've connected this to your bike. So that's one thing to remember. So you can control it and switch the jacket on and off. Uh, so in the left-hand side pocket, you've got this uh, loop connector here. Take that off and what will come with the jacket is a remote control uh, that comes with the jacket. You plug that in, and there you've got your on and off switch for the jacket. Easily controlled whilst you're on the move. Now, uh, when you've got your motorcycle jacket on, this will actually hang down below your motor, uh, the bottom of your motorcycle jacket, so you can keep one hand uh, on the throttle when you're riding and control the temperature of the jacket from the one touch button here, and just by simply pressing it highlights, uh, you've got an LED that highlights whether it's green, amber, or red, red being the hottest, green being the coolest. So that's how you power the, the heated jacket from your motorbike supply, uh, battery supply. You can use a mobile battery with this jacket. Um, look at the in-depth review uh, to find out how long those timings with the battery actually last for with this jacket. So why am I showing you the jacket? Well, I wanted to show you the jacket because in conjunction with the, uh, the heated uh, winter gloves that they've got, um, they connect to the power source from the jacket. So here's the, the Kais winter gloves. Now these on their own, uh, without the heating elements in these, I would consider these winter gloves anyway because they're, the way that they're built, they're very thick, waterproof. Um, so I would consider these uh, on par with other winter gloves that are out there. The difference is obviously you've got the heating elements in these as well. So you can power these by a mobile battery. So you'll need two mobile batteries, one for each glove, and they will sit on the they will go on the underside when your glove is on. When your, oh, wrong hand. When your glove is on, there's a zip here and the glove just sits on the underside in a pocket here via a zip, okay? So you can power your gloves from mobile batteries. But the beauty of the Kais kit is that your gloves can connect to the jacket. So on the sleeved jacket, on each sleeve, you've got a zip and a cable, 
and this cable is connected to the power supply from the um, from the jacket. That plugs into the glove and now your glove has a permanent power supply and that's coming from your battery, the same battery that your cable is connected to from your jacket and then you simply power the gloves on and off with this button on the uh, on the top of the glove you press and hold to switch it on and then once it's on it'll either glow red amber or green red being the hottest green being the coolest and you do exactly the same for the other glove and there's the zip on that sleeve there and that's the beauty of these gloves and the kais kit is that the power supply can come from the, from one existing power supply that you've got for your jacket and then you've got your heated jacket and heated gloves and you should be snug as a bug in a rug wearing these. Um, now, uh, whether you wear your cuff of your motorcycle jacket over or under uh, the, the, the um, cuff of the glove, entirely up to you. The connections are waterproof once they're plugged in. So that is the beauty of these, of these gloves with the Kais jacket. So um, as part of the Kais inspiring riders, um, I will be wearing this kit uh, this winter. They have sent me also some um, heated pants as well. And again, the heated pants can be connected to the same power source as well. So the heated pants, the jacket and the gloves all connected to the same power source. So stay tuned for a review on the heated pants and I'll give you some technical information regarding the fuse, um, the, the fuse that you would require to power these off one power supply. Uh, because these are in the power lead that comes from the battery, you do have a fuse in there. And obviously that fuse at the moment is sufficient to power this jacket. If I was gonna add the gloves, I'd need to change the fuse or add another fuse. Um, and then with the heated pants, I need to change the fuse again, depending on how much I'm gonna, what power I'm gonna draw. So that's the beauty of these. So stay tuned to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. Follow me for the Kais inspiring riders through this winter. And as soon as that weather turns a, li turns a little bit more of autumnal, um, and drops a little bit. I'll be out and about riding and giving my thoughts about how good these are both in the wet and the dry and, how, and importantly how much they keep my hands warm in both of those conditions. I've given some information about the jacket in my other video and I'll also tell you about the heated pants as well. If you want to know more about the Kais kit check out their website link in the description below. If you need to order anything, use that link as well. It, it is an affiliate link. It does support the, uh, the Billy's Bike Adventures channel. It doesn't cost you any, anything extra, but it does support the channel as an affiliate link. So thank you very much indeed for that. If you've got any questions at all about the kit that I've shown you today, please let me know. But otherwise, for now, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you again very soon.